Very recently, Google I.O. said AI is the future. Microsoft Build said the same. And half of the internet started screaming that junior developers will not have any jobs. I have a problem with that blanket statement. And that's why this video. Hey, this is Tapas. Welcome to Tapas Script. I teach fundamentals and problem solving and logic building in this channel. So today I'm going to talk about this very topic which is around junior developers losing their job. They will be fighting for their existence just because AI is here. But hey guys, calm down, breathe. You are not doomed as a junior developer. It's just that you need to evolve. Let me break the things down without any hype, without any fear, but just by putting certain facts out of my experience. Yes, AI is everywhere right now. Every big keynote is filled with AI is this, LLM is that, and yeah, tools like Copilot, ChatGPT are writing code faster than ever. So do we need developers anymore, especially the junior ones? The short answer is yes. And the long answer is yes, but the roles are changing. I want you to consider a few points. AI can suggest code, but it doesn't understand why you are building that app. It doesn't handle edge cases well. Still, it doesn't know your user and the end customer. It doesn't know your business logic and the tech stack challenges that you are going through. AI is a tool, a very, very smart, handy one. But don't forget that you are still the builder. Developer roles are changing, whether it is for junior, mid-level or senior. There was a time that being a developer used to mean writing code manually, debug your code manually and cry when it doesn't work. Feel happy when you're able to fix it. But now you can ask AI for help, isn't it? Even after asking, you still need to architect your solution. You still need to guide the AI to give you the proper relevant results. You still need to test what AI builds. You still need to fix what AI breaks you still need to understand what is really happening under the hood. Don't take this for granted. Let me tell you, it is true that the junior dev hiring has slowed down in some areas, but it shifted elsewhere. Nobody is talking about the second part. Everybody is selling fear, saying that there is no more opening for junior developers, junior developer job has done. But let's think about how things have evolved or how things are evolving, where exactly junior developers can be fitted. Big tech companies like FANG companies, right? Many of them have frozen the junior roles since 2023 because of various reasons. It could be budget cuts, it could be reorgs, it could be their investment on AI or it could be certain strategic decisions that you never know. The traditional back-end heavy roles have also reused. Companies now expect even juniors to have at least a basic front-end plus some of AI awareness. Now the shift is happening towards the AI power startups or SaaS tools. New tools need faster prototypes. They need faster front-ends. They need faster dashboard. This is the ideal for juniors who picked up on fundamental knowledge, smart enough to have the AI awareness and can at least understand different terminologies from the full stack world. Another shift that I have observed in terms of low code and the AI integrated platforms. These platforms need developers who has understanding on APIs, who knows how to automate the workflows and who can actually glue multiple systems together, right? So here, nobody expecting you to sit and code JavaScript end to end. Rather, they're expecting you that you were smart enough to quickly understand the endpoints, glue them together and build the things. Now, again, to do this correctly, you still need the fundamentals. You still need to know how things works under the hood. It is just not that, that you are getting two systems and getting them together and it will work. What if it breaks? And then you have to know how to fix them. Another area where the shift is happening is the open source and the dev tool companies. Many open source software focused organizations are hiring developer advocates and the junior engineers to maintain libraries, their build examples, writing documentation. So that is another role, which is not very traditional like a junior developer or a developer role. Rather, you got to educate yourself on a particular product, on a particular developer tools, and then you have to talk about the developer tools through demo, through blog, through events, etc. 
that's another role is evolving and i'm sure that in future it will be evolving much much more so that's something that you should be focusing on than the traditional developer role i won't take the name but some companies are rehiring juniors as ai co-pilots becoming the mainstream now everybody uses it right there is no shame we should use it's a tool we should use in our advantage because if you think one mid-level developer a smart junior developer plus co-pilot can deliver as fast as a senior developer used to. This is what we call a new team work. You have to bring AI into the team as your another team member. Once it is in your team, the teamwork amplifies. I always say this, think AI as your intern. Even if you have joined a company as an intern, you think there is another intern with you, that's the AI. That can get you code, that can give you the code. But if you blindly trust that, code in production, probably that will be the biggest mistake that you will do. So what should you do now? The first thing that you should do, learn AI tools. Start using ChatGPT, start using Copilot, start to know how to do prompting. Not just for fun, learn how to think to use those tools. Go to that next level. You still need to strengthen your core skills. For example, if you like web development, you still need some fundamental knowledge of HTML, some fundamental knowledge of CSS, some fundamental knowledge of JavaScript, Git, etc. If you are not going to have and relying on the AI completely, you are just going to fool yourself for the future. And then the only person you have for blaming is yourself. Understand how web works, how internet works. Have an understanding about how front-end talks to back-end, how back-end talks to front-end, how database save the stuff. So these are the very basic knowledge that you must have as a developer. And it doesn't really take too long for you to get this knowledge if you are focusing in the right path on the right track. Then the third thing would be about building projects. It may sound like a broken record because I have been talking about it almost in all the live and whenever I get to meet people. But it really works. Don't just focus on building application like to-do list, some clone. In today's world, build something that solves a real problem. Even if you build a meme generator, that's fine. But just show your thinking behind it. Like why are you building it? What kind of real use case or the problem that is going to solve? That's what matters a lot. Even if you're building a clone of something, let's say Netflix, YouTube, or whatever it is, just don't build a clone as is. At least add some features that you think will be unique that Netflix or the YouTube doesn't have today. And that is what is going to give you the extra age than everyone else who are building those clones. And the last in the section of what you should do now, master communication. Soft skills matter. How you explain your stuff to others how you ask right questions, how you work in a team. That's completely human stuff, my friend. AI is not going to help you. Even if you ask this to ChatGPT or any other AI powered tool, the response that you will get from those tool, you have to adapt as per your personality, not the AI personality. So mastering communication, mastering soft skill is much needed, whether it was in the era of 80s, 90s, 2000, AI or even in future. I want to end by saying that your career is safe only if you are evolving. Every tech wave scared people. There were times when technology advancement came in the mills, the jute mills in India. Folks who were working, the workers really got panicked that they are going to lose their job. When computers came in bank, the employees, the bank employees got scared that the computer is going to steal their job. It didn't stop there. There was cloud computing, there is mobile development. Every time a tech was introduced, a new thing was introduced that scared people. Now the same thing with AI, but you have to remember from the history that every time it happened, it opened new roles. Of course, it killed the stale one. Of course, it killed the one that is not required, but it opens new role. Now it is up to you whether you are evolving yourself for this new role or you want to be still or you want to stay where you are and then you see the bus or train is moving ahead. I'm not really scaring you here. I'm just giving you the fact that it's time where you need to step up and start thinking about the opportunities a bit differently. Prepare yourself, understand what exactly a good futuristic opinion versus where people are trying to sell their product to yourself. Do that differentiation, create your roadmap and get started with it. Tomorrow's job, why I'm saying tomorrow, even today. It could be prompt engineering. You have to really master prompt and how to get your work done. You have to know like how to design those prompt and how to execute what kind of expectations you have from the prompt. It could be AI code reviewer. 
the model debugger, AI ethics consultant, even AI devrel. Remember friends, you don't need to beat AI. You just need to partner with it. Funny fact is, junior developers who adopt now with AI, they will be seniors in next three to five years who will be leading the AI integrated systems. And without those juniors, how are you going to get the senior engineers for tomorrow or senior developers from tomorrow? So that's why I told that in the beginning that I have a big problem with that blanket statement that with the advancement of AI, junior developers are going to lose job. That's not the fact. The statement completes in this way that those junior developers who don't evolve along with AI, they are at risk with their job. But who evolve along with the AI, they are going to be the senior engineers, senior developers for tomorrow. And in that journey, fundamentals are still relevant. Communications are still relevant. Soft skills are still relevant. Problem solving are still relevant. And being curious to understand and adapt to the new advancement of AI is the necessity. So folks, please don't panic. Prepare. Use AI. Learn AI. Stay human and build some cool stuff. If you feel that I'm talking sense, please like, share, subscribe. And please comment with that one skill you want to promote or double down on the AI area in coming days. I would love to know and if possible, would love to add to it. Thank you very much for listening to me. We'll be back again with another video that will definitely help you and your career for sure. Thank you very much.